Good morning. Welcome to the Pharmacist Academy. Woo! And yes, it is morning here in New York at 6.21 a.m. So today I'll be bringing you another video titled Acronym of the Day. Now, this is going to be the first video of a series of videos that I'll be sharing with you guys. Of You know, very cool acronyms that I tend to use. And I call these N-word acronyms. Meaning that the answer or the acronym itself is is going to be in the word. For you to understand more, let's move on and get this going. So how to remember that septic shock is a type of distributive shock. Now shock is simply when you have a decreased blood flow to vital organs in your body due to hypotension. Now, there are different types of shocks. The first one is hypovolemic, where the heart pumps well, but there's just not enough blood for the heart to pump out to the rest of your body. So obviously, certain parts of your body and your vital organs are going to feel like they're not getting enough blood. Then you have distributive. Distributive shock is when your heart pumps well, but there's peripheral vasodilation which will cause vital organs to not get enough blood, right? So this is also leading to decreased blood flow and hypotension. Then we have cardiogenic shock. Cardiogenic shock when, is when your heart fails to pump the blood out, which will lead to the same outcome. Then we have obstructive shock. And this is when your heart is pumping well. There may be enough blood for the heart to pump out, but there is some kind of outflow um, blockage in the peripheral. Now, septic shock is a type of distributive shock because, one, all you need to know is that sepsis is a full body inflammation. From then, look at the word distributive. Distributive means to distribute, right? Which is like to give shares or distribute something all over. Now, sepsis is a full body inflammation. In other words, it is everywhere in your body the inflammation is everywhere is distributed all over your body and that's pretty much it so this, this is why i call them n-word acronyms so if you get a question let's say on your exam and it's asking you what type of shock is septic shock right all you have to do is analyze the word sept like septic or sepsis right and you say, okay, sepsis is a full body inflammation. Then you look at the four options that they give you. And you say, hmm, distribute. Sepsis is a full body inflammation. In other words, it's everywhere in your body. is distributed all over your body. The inflammation is distributed everywhere. And boom, that's your answer. So yes, this was a short video, but that's all you need. I will be posting more of these videos. Um, let me get comments, feedbacks. Let me know that you, if you like these videos. And I would love to make more. I have a tons of acronyms. I swear that's all I, that's all I use during pharmacy school. If you have any acronyms that you would like to share, please put in the comments or send me an email or a message. So thank you, and I will see you. Bye.